see what this is like. Moving both the association. Well, welcome back to another adventure. And this time you join me just outside a wee place called Moffat. And I'm actually on the Southern Upland Way again. And this time I'm here in search of another bothy. I think it's called Brattleburn Bothy. And I'm not too sure what the sort of state of the bothy is or how remote it is. But there's absolutely nothing around me right now, so. I'd imagine it's pretty remote and scenic, but I suppose we'll see when we get there. So here's a, a map of where we're going. We are obviously right here, and I'm just following this trail in amongst the trees, all the way up to Brattleburn Bothy. I think it's about six kilometres. As you can see, it shows you the sort of paths for the Southern Upland Way, the Annandale Way is another long distance route. Since this is part of the Southern Upland Way and also the Annandale Way, all the paths are really well signposted. So it's pretty much impossible to get lost. And I'm also following like a, a really well made track, well maintained track right now. So yeah, it's, it makes for fairly easy walking. You gotta love a wee Christmas tree. Absolutely beautiful. I'm interested to see if I'll come across anyone this time. Because I think that's twice now I've been following the Southern Upland Way and I've not seen a single person. If this was the West Island Way, I'd be bumping into people every two seconds. But I think it's just nowhere near as popular. I suppose that'll make it an even better route to follow. These walking conditions are absolutely incredible. It was meant to be raining pretty much the entire day, but I saw there was a wee window sort of in the middle of the day where there's not too much rain and there's no wind at all it really is just perfect for walking he's a big boy oh they are really nice they're just the colours on the tips, almost looks blue. It's really nice. There's definitely not a shortage of trees around here. And this is genuinely some of the freshest air I've ever smelled. It's just, you can just tell it's so clean, so refreshing. It's just such a nice, peaceful walk and amongst these trees, if I could, you know, describe what my sort of dream peaceful walk would be as just in amongst the trees in a forest, super calm, no noises, it's just relaxing. Look at that head, just disappearing into the forest. I think that would sometimes sort of frighten people. You're literally just disappearing into the forest. And I'd imagine if it was dark, I'd maybe be a bit scared, but it actually comforts me. Ooh, it's hard to describe, it's just a really nice, serene feeling. Sign of life. Those are not my footprints because I'm going that way. Ah, some of this is super boggy. There we go. Very cool, we bridge. 
views have definitely opened up. We're nearly there and we're back amongst the trees now as well which I'm really happy about it's just so much nicer than walking through that sort of open moorland why is that even on there? disgusting wee thing but as you can see you continue to the right for the southern upland way but we're heading up there to the Bothy just got a little bit about Bothy's in the sort of area and you can see down there White Wagon Bothy, that's one I visited quite recently and we are at Brattleburn quite the distance away from each other Seems quite well hidden this Bothy just following like a tiny wee track and it'd probably be quite hard to find if you're in the dark but it's not too bad right now Here we are, first view of the Bothy. What an area this is. See what this is like. Moving Bothy Association. Ooh, all the firewood kept in a separate place. All the tools you need. Let's go into the main room. Another fireplace, which is really nice. Probably sleeps one person. And I think it's actually the first body I've been to that has an upstairs. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Not too sure what's in here. Oh, what on earth? Another room. It's pretty cool. Another fire. An array of books. If you're bored, that's a nice touch. Loads of cooking utensils, but someone's left their cans. Why? Some really nice views out. I think this might be the biggest spot I've ever been to. It's absolutely massive. I'm going to head upstairs now though to see what that's like. It looks pretty cool. Well, there's just about enough space to stand up up here. Those stairs are mad steep. As you can see, there's enough space for quite a few people. It doesn't feel that <laughs> safe though. It's like, you can see like you can see through it. It's like a little bit dodgy. That is also a horrible sight. I am not a fan of spiders. I think I'm just gonna head down. I really like these logs of wood they've got. So cool. And you can just hang things on them. That's really, really cool. Super important that when you're starting a fire. Just to be careful. McDonald's and KFC sauces. You can't beat it. Oh, Rubik's Cube. I could stay here for a month and I still wouldn't complete it. I've just come outside to check the surroundings. And as you can see, there's a Lovely wee trail down to a stream. That's absolutely perfect for collecting water. Yeah, super fast flowing as well, so you know it's gonna be fairly clean. 
surrounding area is really nice. It's just sort of like tucked in in the hills here. You can't see it from pretty much anywhere else. Just gonna head inside now and get some food. I'm absolutely starving. Right, food time. I am absolutely starving. Just got a sandwich as always. Nothing special. That'll do the job. And yes, I haven't cut up my sandwiches. I might be a weirdo, but I couldn't be bothered. So, <clears throat> I think this bothy was renovated in the exact same year that the Southern Upland Way was opened or announced as a national trail. I want to say it's 1984, but I would need to double check. But I'm pretty impressed with it. Like, it's a lot bigger than any of the other bothies I've been to. And the fact that it's got two rooms with stoves means if you had like two parties that I don't know, you didn't want to be all stuffed in one room, you can go in separate rooms. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I'm just going to sit here for 10, 15 minutes though and enjoy the rest. And then I'm going to make my way back. It's just the exact same way that I came in. So another sort of six and a half kilometers. So not too bad. Right. It's about time to go. I want to try and dodge this rain that's coming in about an hour or so, so I'm going to get going. Let's go. Well, Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, another really interesting bothy. It's good just getting out to see them in case I'll, you know, ever do the Southern Upland Way or I just want to come back for a couple nights or whatever. But I think I'm going to leave you. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I've got a really big one, big adventure planned in the up and coming weeks. I don't want to give too much away, but I will say it's not on mainland, but that's all you're getting. So I'm gonna head off and make sure to tune in next time for a big adventure. <laughs>